Wow, I cannot believe that it is autumn already. It seems like the year has just blown by. I meant to put together all of these tutorials for all of you, and it's already October. What happened? I did have some time today though, so we're going to take a dive into installing Unity and getting all of the packages we need to put some super cool effects like the sparkles on my earring onto your models. Let's get it booted up and get going! Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do if you're going to do any kind of editing of your Vroid model in Unity is of course download Unity. And you can get Unity from unity3d.com, get Unity slash update, and I'll have a link to that down in the description so you can find it right there. It's a little bit confusing because there's two buttons on this page, but the download Unity Hub button is what you want to use because that's going to handle all of your Unity projects. Once you've downloaded and installed Unity Hub, you're going to need to go to the Unity Download Archive. And the reason that we're going here instead of getting the most recent version of Unity is because the VC Face extension that does all of the fancy shaders and uh, mission effects and everything uses a specific version of Unity. To find that, we're going to go to the Unity 2019.x tab and scroll down until we get to our specific version, which is 2019.4.31f1. It's 2019.4.31f1. And you're going to click the Unity Hub button so that you can download it straight into your new installation of Unity. So once you've installed Unity Hub, and the correct version of Unity that we're going to be working in, you need to go up and create a new project. You can name the new project whatever model you're working on. I'm working on a specific version, so I want to make sure that my project matches that. But the most important thing that we need to do is have this set to 3D and our editor version set to the proper version that we downloaded. If you have multiple versions like me, you'll need to make sure to drop this down and to select 2019.4.31F1, which in this case is this one. That's handled and we're going to create our project. It can take a few moments for Unity to boot up our new project, but once it does, you should see a scene that is very much like this, with just a main camera, directional light, and the name sample scene. What you'll want to check really quickly is the top here to make sure that it is in fact set to 2019.4.31F1. I know I'm saying that a lot, but it's really important because if you don't use this version, VC Face can't export your file properly. The next thing that we want to do is import our packages. And we're going to do that in the order that is most important because there's a whole list for doing all of the work that we want to do. So the first one's going to be UniVRM and we're going to go to assets, import asset, custom package. And once again, I want to remind you that I have the download links to each of these different Unity packages below in the description. As you can see, I keep my packages organized all together in a VRM Unity packages folder on my D drive because I always want to find these to import them into new projects. So keeping them all together in one place after you've downloaded them is a really good idea. The first one that we're going to grab, like I said, is UniVRM. It's going to prepare the package, pull that in, and then it's going to give us this huge list of things that we need to approve and we want to import all of them. We're going to do that for every single package on this list. I'm going to take just a minute for each one. And it might pop in another setting here that's asking you what to use for your color space. Just accept all go through another loop of importing. Okay, that's done. So the next most important one is the VC Face SDK. 
and that one is right here. Once again, all of the links are in the bottom. We import everything. So you can grab the links from the description and you can go snag all of these. The uh, don't skip all transcoding, let it do everything that it needs to do. Don't skip the link. As you can see, it has a whole process that it has to go through. So don't be surprised if it takes a little bit of extra time of loads for a while. There we go. You can see the folder is now here in the VSF SDK. All right. So the next one that we're going to snag is the Poyomi shaders. And that's this one. That's how you get the fancy sparkles that I have and the bloom and the light emissions. This one should be a little smaller. It shouldn't take quite as long. That's done. And you know that it's there because you can see, oh, I'm kind of in the way here. You can see the shader right there. All right, we have two more to go. Our next one is bone weight transfer. You only need to have the bone weight transfer tool if you want to make a hair object in Vroid that you want to then apply to a different part of the body. Say you want to have a tail, or you want to have wings like I have wings and you don't want them to move with the head then you need to be able to transfer the bones so you need this package for that otherwise you don't need it all right we now have our bone weight transfer tool and last but not least is the HANA tool the HANA tool is only used if you want to have fancy um, iPad recognition mocap and have all the blend shapes that it requires. This can be used to copy those blend shapes from another model into this one. And I'll go over that in another tutorial. So oh, we're going to just double click that install. And there we go. That's all the Unity packages that we're going to need. So our very last step in our setup is to actually import our model. To import our model, we want to go up to this VRM0 and click Import from VRM 0.x. Select that. Find your um, model on your hard drive you've exported from Vroid and is in a VRM format, not the Vroid file, but the exported VRM file. And if you're not sure how to export from Vroid, you can check out my video linked below that shows you how to do that, especially how to set it up if you want to be adding mocap to your model. So we're going to select that and then we are going to import it into, I'm just going to add a new folder because I like to have it all the avatars in here so I know where I'm putting all of the avatars that I import. Sometimes I work on more than one. So that's going to take a moment to import here. And once it does, you're going to see it in like the face my, or the place my head is blocking over here. In this section, there is going to be an avatars folder and it is going to have the avatar that we have imported in it. And in fact, there it is. I'm going to keep leaning here. So we have an avatars folder and that has all of them. You can separate it into subfolders if you want. In this case, you can see that my model that I'm going to be working on is here. 
and I have imported it into Unity and it's right there on the screen to be worked on. Thanks for watching and don't forget that you can get all of the downloads that you need in the description of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful and I'll catch you next time.